Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be talking about the Ruger LC Carbine chambered in 5.7x28. Isn't she pretty? Stick around. <laughs> Alright, here she is, the Ruger LC Carbine, chambered in 5.7 by 28. This carbine weighs in just shy of 6 pounds. She comes with a pistol grip, which is identical to the pistol itself, the 5.7 pistol from Ruger. She has a nice trigger pull straight out of the box, in my opinion. You have a side charging handle on the side here, which locks into a detent so it's non-reciprocating. You've got a little bit of travel to that trigger. Well, actually, I should send the bolt home first. So you have this little bolt catch bolt, bolt release on the side here with nice texturing on it. Send that bolt home. You do have a safety, which is ambidextrous on both sides. Dingus in the middle of the trigger there for additional safety. So you have a little bit of travel to get to that wall. And then you have to push through a little bit of creep and it sort of rolls to a break with just a tiny bit of over travel. And the reset is very short, audible and tactile. And then you got that little bit of creep rolling through that trigger break again. Yeah, very nice in my opinion. You have a 16.25 fluted barrel with a one and nine right hand twist rate, which is threaded half by 28. You've got this thread protector up front there with a rubber O-ring which holds it nice and snug on there, which I imagine it would hold on your brakes or suppresses or whatever you want to put on this carbine. The receiver and handguard are aluminum with a Type 3 anodized finish. The handguard has plenty of M-lock spots. You have QD mounting points on both sides on the rear of the rifle. A 1913 pick reel, which is the length of the carbine. These quick deploy Ruger backup sights, which I can co-witness through my primary arms red dot. The bolt is a telescoping two-piece bolt. To field strip the rifle, you would pop out this pin on the front here, pull the hand, pull the pistol grip back and pull it out. The whole assembly comes right out. You want to pull the charging handle back, pull that first piece of the bolt out, then you will let it go forward, remove the spring, then pull it back again and re remove that second portion of the bolt. It's very easy to field strip this rifle. You can do it with just a bullet tip. The stock is a three position adjustable stock. Just by pinching, you can adjust it forward and back. I like it in the second spot so I can get right up on that optic. It is a simple button push foldable stock, which locks into the position when you open it to the side there. And to reattach it, you just lift up, swing it back out, and it locks back into place. You can reverse the stock to collapse the other side, which I would not recommend because you will be you, you will be covering your ejection port of the rifle at that point, and so you won't be able to use it in the folded position. When you have it folded this way, you can absolutely use the rifle still. She, func she functions just fine with it folded. Right now, I just have my Frank Proctor sling on there, which works perfectly fine for what I need. The cheek piece is one thing that I wish was adjustable. I can get it to unlock from this position and slide it back and forth, but it, it remains loose at that point. It don't, seems like it only locks in in this one position. Because when I do have the stock pulled out to that third position, this portion here kind of hits me in the face instead of getting a good cheek well on it. As well as the knuckle. When I have it in that second position, the knuckle does make contact with my upper lip when I get really down into the optic, which is not a huge deal because the 5.7x28 is not a heavy recoiling round anyways. But the 5.7x28, in my opinion, is a very capable round, especially out of this 16.25 inch barrel, which I'm gonna demonstrate here with a video that I took off of Mr. Guns and Gear's channel. If, you, if for some reason you're subscribed to me, but you're not subscribed to Mr. Guns and Gear, do yourself a favor and go over and subscribe. He's getting somewhat close to the 1 million subscriber mark, Let's, you know, do what we can to get him there. He's one of the most knowledgeable people on YouTube. He does also have a great daily deals email that he sends out on a daily basis. I actually bought this optic through one of his links. Got a really good price on it. I'm sorry about any guinea pig noises that you're hearing. They're right down here on this uh, floor pen that I got <laughs> next to the, the setup. They're noisy little buggers. They're cute as hell, but they're noisy little buggers. The next load up, it is 1,000% not rated for. Just want to get that out there, but we're trying it anyway. So we have some underwood ammo, thanks to them. Appreciate it. 
and it is a 300 grain XTP 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Ooh, this thing's got some power. Oh. <laughs> Let's check it out. Once again, we are continuing with a round that is absolutely not rated for. So some 40 grain, uh, 5.7, coming out of my 5.7 rock here, full length barrel. And uh, again, not rated for this at all. I have no idea if it's gonna stop it or not. Uh, 3A armor is like 50-50 on this, typically when we test it. So let's find out. Let's see. So as you can see from that footage, it just zips right through that level three body armor. And once it zips through that body armor, it's gonna hit you still going at a decent clip, get good penetration and fragment all in your torso, which is not gonna be a good day. So I did have this carbine out for a couple days at the range. I'm gonna show you that footage now. And after those couple days, man, do I love this rifle now. She's a very handy little package. All right, so without any further ado, I will see you at the range. All right, here we are at the club. First shots with the Ruger 5.7 carbine. This red dot looks to be on when I co-witness my irons through it. That's assuming the irons are on. Let's see uh, where she's hitting at 25 yards.
the FN definitely has a different recoil impulse than that American Eagle does. Really? All right, so that was a great couple of range days with the Ruger LC carbine. What a great little handy carbine that is, chambered in the 5.7x28, which in my opinion is a very capable little round. If you like what you see here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, smash that notification bell so you get notified of all my new content. Give me a like and feel free to comment. Until next time, this is the Gun Toting Pacifist. Stay active, stay alert, and stay armed. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah